go into school, like you sit in your seat and the teacher reads a book and you're told what to do and you're told how to do it. You come in here and you're put in groups, and it's group work. You're given a task and you're not told how to do it. You go about doing it yourself, you're given the tools to do it. Some of the components include teamwork, using technology to facilitate and mediate learning, a project-based approach to learning, um, and also then the role of the teacher as a more of a facilitator or a guide rather than a direct instructor of the learning. A typical Bridge 21 learning experience involves setting a team in a project or an assignment, giving them the time and the support to do it and then getting them to come back and present and demonstrate how they've achieved what they set out to do. Um, everything is very team based. Here there's like there's a team leader who like relays messages from like Kevin or Claire, like what our project would be. The brainstorming and stuff at the start was uh, was kind of like an eye opener to different ways to learn, like just brainstorming with other people. One of the key features of the Bridge 21 model is peer learning. We underutilize the power and potential of this in our school system. In my classroom, it's um, four students, two facing two, a laptop or two per group, and they um, work on projects using collaborative technology in order to develop their, their project work. Technology is used when and where is appropriate to facilitate the type of learning experiences that we want to create. Technology is an integral part of how the Bridge 21 model works just as it's become an integral part of most people's work lives and most people's social lives.